Leeds Met offers study opportunities abroad for international students. The Health Promotion Group at Leeds Met established links with Zambia in order to develop a master's course in public health. This off-site provision enables international students to achieve a qualification whilst living and working in their own country. The course specialises in health promotion and environmental health and was jointly planned with Chinama College in Zambia and later with the University of the Gambia. Public health is seen by both Zambia and Gambia and by World Health Organisation to be an important area to address some of the very difficult health needs of poor economic countries. The health needs include HIV and AIDS, which is having quite a dramatic effect not only on the people themselves that suffer, but on their families, but also on the provision, so for example, health services. The university has always been very supportive of, of our international work. Uh, the university has an internationalisation strategy, so it, it tries to make sure that our home students understand something about the global world in which we live. But it's also very supportive of any activities that are taking place overseas. In most developing countries, um, a lot of scholarships for further studies outside our countries has dwindled. It's getting more and more difficult. So when this um, offer came to us, um, it was like a dream came true. This program has given Gambia the opportunity to train at one shot, at one go, about 23 candidates, all aiming to achieve the master's degree program in public health. The students are engaged in professional and academic training at home. The only time they leave their workplaces is for the two weeks or three weeks when the module is being implemented in Gambia. Therefore, what is learned in, the mo in any module has the immediate and direct benefit for implementation or practice or experiment at the workplace. So the candidate or the student can learn and immediately go back to the workplace to implement what has been learned. Administrating courses overseas demands good communication and great flexibility. Marianne Huntley is the administrator for the courses and has close contact with both students and course coordinators. I've been to Zambia and the Gambia as well, each place for two weeks, to provide local support over there. I'm one of the main points of contact for our local coordinators, Tresford in Zambia and Hassan in the Gambia. At the moment we have three groups. The other group graduated last year in April 2007 and we still have the other group which is now about to finish writing the dissertations. This program running in Zambia has several benefits and I would be quick to say that one of the benefits is that it's quite costly for maybe one single Zambian to come to Leeds and as we are aware that we are a developing country. Most students attending the course are experienced health professionals but are looking to further their academic training by pursuing this master's degree. I began as a health inspector. I rose through the ranks uh, to, to be an EPI officer. I can rose through the ranks up to uh, head of, a, of an RHT before moving to the Minister of Health as the planner for the health department. So that's where I'm coming from. So I know health and its importance. However, I was unfortunate not to have the opportunity to go on training for masters because masters give you that critical mind, critical thinking and critical way of looking at things. We were lucky enough to get some funding just for this cohort uh, to come to the UK because the Commonwealth felt it was very important for students to get some experience of, of being a scholar actually at a, a university. This enabled 23 Gambian students to complete the research module at Leeds Met. 
They arrived for two weeks in July 2009. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Richard Hogston and I'm uh, Dean of the Faculty of Health here at, at Leeds Met. And it's um, a, an absolute privilege to welcome um, students from our, our Gambian MSc here this evening and friends and colleagues and partners. This provided an opportunity for the students to use the facilities of the university, attend lectures and give presentations regarding their proposed master's dissertations. What counts as evidence? We're here this morning to look at some of the students' proposals for their dissertations. Dissertation is a very important part of their master's degree that they're all studying. And so this is a, a poster presentation that the students have done for us as tutors and lecturers to have a first look at the areas they're interested in researching. Maybe give some advice, maybe look at issues around what methods they're deciding to use. And also an important part of this work is that students again are learning from each other. So as well as staff going round to look at the post presentations, the students themselves are commenting on each other's. And there's a wealth of experience within the student group that we don't want to lose out on. Coming to Leeds for a model was definitely fantastic. I think it was a brilliant idea. Um, we do have challenges, definitely, to study uh, at home, though it has the positive aspects, advantages that are very perfect. But in terms of internet access, in terms of access to literature, um, becomes some kind of constraint. So um, coming to Leeds academically is definitely perfect. Uh, we interact with lecturers, we are within a university setup. For some of us, this is our first time getting into a strict university setting. It's been great fun having them here. I've been able to do all sorts of things with them as a group, which again, has, I think, has helped them to bond um, as a group. And uh, they've been to some of our houses and they've been exposed to a little bit of the life of Leeds. It's been a wonderful experience, really. We hosted a party at our house last week where we invited the students to experience a break from the intensive study. Uh, come along, enjoy some African food, some music and generally spend some relaxing time with each other.